Yeah, isn't there a part of you that after five days wants to say, hey, isn't there a playoff team that could use taxi mm-hmm. squad catcher right now or something? <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh she's got the system down. It's pretty good, but it's been um it's been quite the uh quite the quite the process. Yeah. Okay, so how's retired life? Uh so far so good. Just um, you know, drop the kids off at school. They're all three in elementary school this year. So uh it's been drop them off and go to the golf course for a few days. So it's been uh it's been pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. And then watch baseball in the afternoon and evening. It's been, it's been pretty, pretty good. And been coaching 12 U fast pitch, been watching soccer, been watching, you know, all that stuff, getting to, getting to do all the dad stuff, which is phenomenal. Absolutely Isn't that phenomenal. awesome? Isn't that awesome? That's, this is going to be the best part of it all. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. I, there's nothing better than um, getting to spend that time, even the drive to and from and, then getting to to coach and getting to watch the eye the eyes light up and the light bulbs go off and and just getting to watch uh, my kids playing soccer they love soccer and uh, it's just been really fun to watch them. Okay, I know that it's we're taping this very early in the morning for both of us, um, but I feel like making you cry a little bit. Okay. I just do. Bring, so we're gonna we're it. gonna start with the the heavy hitting stuff. Final day as a major leaguer, and uh, you get up to the plate. And you end up hearing this. Oof, man, that that moment. Um, I'm thankful that somebody spilled the beans, and so I, you know, it was one of those situations where Alyssa wanted my wife wanted to surprise me with it, and. I'm so thankful that I knew about it, but it was one of those things where you get into the game, right? And, you know, I'd caught two innings and then I was coming up for my bat and not that I forgot, but it wasn't on the top, top of my mind that the kids were going to do that my first at bat. And then right when I heard it, because so it still kind of surprised me a little bit. Um, but man, I was fighting back tears so hard. And then you're getting ready to face Shohei Otani and uh, with tears, with tears in your eyes, you know, maybe that would help me a little bit, but um but no, it was, um, obviously it just, it crushed me. And it's like, right when they said our dad and like, it, it just hits you because it's like, they know how cool that moment was for me. They know because they're old enough to fathom what dad does and what dad, how hard they've watched me work. They have watched me rehab. They've watched, you know, they're a big part of it. they you know, they're like, dad, when are you going to come back and play? When are you going to be back on the field? Like, ah, you know, maybe, maybe in a couple of weeks, oh man, your knee still hurt. Yeah, it does. But we want to watch you play, you know? So just even those moments of their innocence, but just asking like, dad, when are you going to get to play again? Keeps you motivated. keeps you going. It's like, you know what? I want to get back out there even worse now. And um, so just all of those memories and all the things I, you know, I remember, Peyton, my daughter, she just turned 11 at the end of September and she was f- six months old when I got called up for the first time. And I remember telling her in her car seat that she's, you know, looking up, you have no idea what to dad- today means for our family, but your daddy's worked really hard for this. And I remember telling her those things. And so then to hear her voice, just, I don't know, it gives you all those feelings and all those memories. And it, it was um, the coolest thing that's ever happened on a baseball field. I think you are lucky that somebody tipped you off because like I've watched it 10 times now and I tear up and they're not my yeah. kids, but I just sit there. I'm like, Oh my God. Like, how could you not? And if, if you hadn't heard it, I mean, who I, I would have been. I would have lost it. If, if I had no clue it was coming, I would have lost it. There would have been a pretty good delay. That's for sure. That's for sure. You ended up uh, getting a second at bat in this game and you know, the last time you were on the show, we talked about the struggle right out of the gate. What was it? Oh, for what? Before 32. You got your- oh, for 32. Oh, yeah. for 32 before you got your first hit. And then your last hit ends up leaving the yard. Do you even remember running around the bases or not? <laughs> I don't even know if you could call that running after I saw the replay. I, it was, <laughs> um, I honestly, it was one of those out of body experiences, right? Um, the, the whole process of walking up to the plate knowing this is your last moment ever on a baseball field as a player um okay you because know, mark Kotze had told me hey you go get a hit and you're done and uh 
So just going up to the plate, it was, hey, kid, hey, dude, here we go. One more. Let's just, let's go have fun. Let's, let's do this. You do. And, uh, right out of the, right out of his hand, I saw it was a fastball and didn't miss it. And right when I made contact, I was like, no way, no way. Holy crap. Holy, are you kidding me? I just remember saying like, are you kidding me over and over and over the high stepping with the Ninja turtle fingers. And I, I just went straight. You know what it was? I was the three-year-old me that was playing in the front yard that was picturing Will Clark being Will Clark hitting a walk off in the world series. And that, that was that kid. And that kid got to run the bases one more time. And it, I, I don't remember it, Chris. I, I don't remember. I just remember this feeling of, are you kidding me? And my brother was right above the dugout and he was just pointing at me and I was pointing right back at him as I, and, um, just my teammates' reaction was was everything for me and the crowd and I had family and friends. Alyssa got seventy one people to Oakland. Um, just you know, she invited and told people to meet there and and just um, just I felt so loved and so honored all day. And uh, to end it like that, running, floating, high stepping, prancing, however you want to call it, around the bases was. Um, that was it was incredible. Let's go prancing. I think that's what it was. <laughs> Absolutely. It was great. <laughs> Did I hear a rumor there was a possibility that Katze was going to pull you after your first at bat? Um, we had talked about he he had said, Hey, when do you want me to pull you? And I said, no, that's up to you. Like I you know, he's like, Well, if you get a hit off Shohei, I gotta take you out. And I was like, Well, I'd like to catch a little bit too. You know, I'd, I'd and I there was a couple different times that I was going to come out. Um, you know, I think after the fifth, Ken was rolling pretty good. And then it was Trout, Otani, and Ward coming up. And I was like, let me, let me, let me get him through the sixth. And then he came out and I was, I thought I was done after that. You know, I think he punched out Trout, punched out Otani, and like Taylor Ward flew out or grounded out, something like that. But, um, so then it was one of those where like, all right, that was it. I'm running off the field after backing up first, just smiling like, man, that was so much fun. Six shutout innings with Ken. Man, yeah. I walked off show hate at that before. Like, I, I'm good. I'm good. And then, you know, and then they started talking, you know, Brad and um, Emo and Cots started talking about sending Ken back out for the seventh. And I was like, well, if he's going back out, I'm going back out. Mm. And they're like, yes, you, yes, you are. And then it was crazy because – had he not gone three of three down, they were bringing in, they had, um, I think Kirby Sneed was ready to go to come in to face a lefty. And uh, they had him ready to go and we got a double play with one out. And so I'm running off the field and I'm leading off the next inning. And I'm like, Hey, double play way to go. Let's go watch Shea get his, you know, Shea's, Shea's turn to, to get this AB great job. Like that's it. And then Cots is like, go get a hit and you're done. It's like, no way. All right. Yeah. One more. Here we go. And then the home run happened. And but yeah, if it weren't for uh, Ken absolutely dealing that day, I would have never got that third at bat to have the opportunity for the homer and the double play ball happen. I mean, it was just everything. It's like somebody had a hand in this uh, final day from up above and said here. And uh, what it did for me is it just confirmed, hey, it was time. It, yeah. it, this is if there was, if you needed a better sign to show you that you made the right decision by walking out, walking away this year and choosing to be done. And it was just like, well, this is it. Do you know how many players have had a home run as their first hit and their last hit since the expansion era in 1961? I think I heard this. Was it, was it 10? You're the 10th. Yeah. Pretty cool. That's, that's, that's crazy. It's uh, like, <laughs> Uh, it, those are the things like that's why that's why baseball is so beautiful right there's yeah. a stat and a number for everything 